Chapter 1, Chemistry, the Study of Change Chemistry is the study of matter and the changes that it undergoes. Chemistry is often called the central science because a basic knowledge of chemistry is essential for students of biology, physics, geology, ecology, and many other subjects. Indeed, it is central to our way of life. Without it, we would be living shorter lives in what we would consider primitive conditions without automobiles, electricity, computers, CDs, and many other everyday conveniences. Although chemistry is an ancient science, its modern foundation was laid in the 19th century when intellectual and technological advances enabled scientists to break down substances into even smaller components and consequently to explain many of their physical and chemical characteristics. The rapid development of increasingly sophisticated technology throughout the 20th century has given us even greater means to study things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Using computers and special microscopes, for example, chemists can analyze the structure of atoms and molecules, the fundamental units on which the study of chemistry is based, and design new substances with specific properties such as drugs and environmentally friendly consumer products. It is fitting to ask what part the central science will have in the 21st century. Almost certainly, chemistry will continue to play a pivotal role in all areas of science and technology. Whatever your reasons for taking this class, a good knowledge of the subject will better enable you to appreciate its impact on society and on you as an individual. Chemistry is important in health and medicine. Of course, people that might want to become a doctor or a nurse they have to study chemistry as well as pharmacists. For example, when an anesthesiologist is administering a medication, she or he have, must have a solid knowledge of chemistry and understand the concentration of the drug that they're administering to a patient. In order to understand fossil fuels and things like nuclear energy, one has to have a solid knowledge of chemistry because fossil fuels are made of hydrocarbons, which are molecules that contain mostly carbon and hydrogen. Material science is also based on chemistry, things like polymers, liquid crystals, for example. Also, molecular computing has become more and more important as computers become more and more sophisticated. And finally, chemistry has contributed greatly to food and agriculture in the development of specialized fertilizers that help to maximize the yield of crops. Also, a firm knowledge of chemistry is helpful in understanding things like genetically modified crops and other things like natural pesticides.